Revelator John. Hello, welcome to Revelator John. What is dissymmetry of lift? So, dissymmetry lift really applies to a main rotor helicopter uh, in forward motion, in forward flight, or in any flight um, of a substantial rate of knots, left or right, or even backwards. Um, but what it essentially means is that when the, one of the rotor blades uh, is moving towards the airflow, moving towards the wind uh, with any kind of airspeed, then there will be a greater airflow speed over the blade. That means there will be greater lift and also greater drag, but greater lift um, over that blade on the advancing side of the blade that is moving towards the wind. On the other side of the rotor, the blade that is moving away from the wind on the retreating side, there will be a reduced um, velocity of airflow over that blade. There will be reduced drag, but also reduced lift as well. So therefore, the dissymmetry of lift essentially means that over the rotor, there is a difference of lift. There's a difference of lift. So uh, on the advancing side, on the side that is moving towards the wind, towards the airflow, there will be greater lift. On the retreating side, there will be less lift. So essentially, we have this difference in lift. And it's purely a, an aerodynamic effect of the blades moving at the constant rotational velocity as main rotors do, and they are moving towards or away from the airflow. Thank you.